Hey, what's going on? My name is RoboDessert, and this is my just chatting scene on Twitch. But that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. What I'm here to talk to you about is this. This is my Be Right Back screen on Twitch. And at first glance, it might look like a pretty normal Be Right Back screen, but pay attention to this window right here. That's me. That's my entire just chatting scene, which you just saw, and it all updates in real time, including the chat. It's a bit of a delay, but it includes emotes, bot messages, anything you can throw at this thing. It will update in real time as your chat goes, whether it's uh, uh, you typing or one of your viewers typing, whatever it is, this will update right here. And that's because this whole window here is my just chatting scene. And now when I use that screen, it looks like I'm falling asleep at my computer watching my stream. It's a fun, silly thing that's uh, just sort of one step beyond the standard animated screens that come in a lot of overlay packs. And to an extent, it's sort of interactive because as your viewers chat and interact on your stream, it updates the scene in real time. And now I'm gonna show you how to make that scene. Now I do wanna say that in order for this scene to work, you do need to use certain plugins that are only available for OBS. So if you use Streamlabs OBS, this will not work for you. That being said, feel free to watch along and see if this gives you any ideas for how to update your own scenes in Streamlabs. And with that out of the way, let's dive in. Now for my scene, I chose to go with gameplay footage from Animal Crossing, but you really could do anything you wanted, such as The Sims, or really anything with a screen. You can do still image or video, but just keep in mind that you'll want whatever gameplay screen you're using to be still and not have any movement in front of it. The scene that you'll be copying will be layered over this video or still image, so anything that moves in front of it will mess up the effect. If you decide to go with Animal Crossing, the easiest way to set up your scene in game is to use Harv's Island in the game. You can access Harv's Island through the airport just like you would go to a Nook Miles Island. And once you're there, you can use any furniture that you've collected to set up your scene. You can even use one of your villagers if you wanted to, so if you wanted a cute animal in place of yourself, you could just pop one of them in and your scene is good to go. Once you get your scene all set up, just record your video in OBS by clicking Start Recording instead of going live. For my video, I tried to capture a few minutes worth of footage, so that way I'd have a little space to play around with it once I loaded it into my video editing software. I do recommend using the OBS capture method for gameplay footage as opposed to something like the built-in capture method on the Switch uh, for two reasons. One, you get a higher quality, and two, you don't have to worry about transferring files as OBS just records directly to your computer. If you decide to use a still image instead of a video, you can now just load this directly into OBS as an image source. You can do this with video as well, but I decided to take mine a step further. I decided to put my video into some video editing software, Premiere Pro for me, and make sure that my video in the animation in the video loops seamlessly. I also decided to add the rotating Be Right Back text and socials feed for the final flare. Now it's ready to load into OBS. Add it to OBS as a media source and in the properties, make sure the box for loop is checked. Now for this next part, you'll need to download and install the Stream Effects plugin for OBS. I'll include a link to the download page in the video description. It's pretty easy to install, and once you're up and running, it'll give you two key components that we need for this effect. The first component that we're going to use from this plugin is called a source mirror. In OBS, you can use a scene in another scene as a source, but if you apply any effects to that source, they'll also be applied to the scene. And we do not want that, unless you want whatever scene you're capturing to just look all wonky and weird, in which case, go crazy. However, using a source mirror will allow you to apply effects to the source without applying those effects to the scene itself. Once the Stream Effects plugin is installed, go to your Be Right Back screen and click the plus sign to add a source and then add a source mirror. Title it whatever you like, and then in the properties, scroll down to scenes and select the scene you want to duplicate. Now that this is loaded in, you can start manipulating this source without affecting the scene that we're pulling from. From here, we're going to use the second effect from the Stream Effects plugin that we need, which is the 3D filter. Right click on the source mirror and select filters. From there, click the plus sign under Effect Filters and add the filter called 3D Transform and click OK. Now you'll have a bunch of options to alter the source in three dimensions, allowing you to line up the source with the computer screen of your game footage. It will probably take a little bit of toying around to get it exactly right. You can also use some of the other effects included with the StreamFX plugin, such as blur and color change to make the scene match the surroundings of your in-game footage. And that's it. 
The best part about this is that because we're using a source mirror, we don't have to worry about updating the scene whenever we make changes to our original Just Chatting scene. If you get a new overlay pack, change colors, change fonts, whatever it is, they will automatically be applied and updated to the source mirror, so this scene will already be updated. And now you've got a cool Be Right Back screen. This screen is way more customizable than anything you're gonna find in a pre-made overlay pack, which means that you can better tailor it to suit your stream and your personality. I hope you found something in this video useful or inspiring in some way, and if you have any questions, throw them down in the comments below. You're always welcome to come hang out with me on Twitch as well at twitch.tv robodessert, where you can see this screen in action live. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.